All right, guys, we're working on a 06 Toyota 4Runner. The uh, OBD2 scanner is not connecting with the computer. And it's usually a pretty simple fix. Let me show you how to check it out. The first thing I did is I went to the uh, computer and I pulled a schematic offline and I located the OBD2 connector right here. And the first thing you want to do is you want to check and make sure that it's getting battery voltage because that's what's going to power up your scanner. So if you look here on number 16 is an orange wire. It goes directly to under the hood, hot all times, a 7.5 amp fuse. That's the first thing we want to check to make sure it's not blown. All right, so we're going to turn the car on. We'll get the meter. This is the fuse box it's talking about. Remove the cover. It's got a clip on each end. If you look on the back side of your cover, it's going to have all the different fuses and what they go to. So what we're going to do is we're going to look for the 7.5 and we're going to look for the one that is for the OBD2 connector. You get your test meter out and you're going to connect the ground to ground. I'm going to turn it on. I always check the meter on the positive side. And you look right there to make sure it lights up. 12.2. So we know we're good there. And just start checking away. The fuse was good under the hood. So the next thing you want to do is check the 16 pin connector under the dash. So on your 4Runner, the top left one is going to be your orange wire that should be hot all the time. Alright, in this case it is hot. All right, guys, let me tell you what I found out. It had 12 volts at the fuse and it had 12 volts at the connector. So I pulled a service record on this 06 model 4Runner and found that it was in the shop a month or so ago for some electrical work. So I went to the connector and looked and sure enough, where they plugged it in at, they must have spread the connector. So I closed the connector up, plugged my scanner back on up, and it worked just fine, connected right in. So when you have an issue that your scanner won't connect, don't stress. Follow these simple steps and you should be just fine.